sit with you. Yeah, it's out there. Can you get it? I see you have full up trim. That's what I needed. I had full flaps. I always have full up trim yeah. on landing. Yeah. How did it feel? Fine. Did it look okay? I was a little yeah. fast. I was a little fast. Yeah, a lot of runway. Yeah, a lot of runway. It was, it was it did, fine. Not a heavy wing? No. Well, I trimmed the, I trimmed the, there's, there's your, your heavy wing, that deflection there. That's hardly nothing. That's about right. That's hardly nothing. Yeah. So it's, the airplane is pretty true. The, the rudder trim where it's set now is good for uh, the, the, the takeoff. Uh, and uh, I didn't bother playing because I was flying under 140 knots for the gear. So uh, the engine temps were well 340 or something on the cylinder that EGTs were 1100 or something. Still? I, yeah, I pulled, I pulled it back uh, while I was descending on a downwind and I saw that they were coming up. I didn't notice how high they went, probably 1300 or so, but I was in a pattern to land. And so, Why they got high? Well, because I pulled a mixture back. I pulled a mixture control to make sure that that would work, that it was working the way it's supposed to, and that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So that was normal. So the whole thing is normal, just a noise, it's just deafening. Yep. Is it engine noise or air noise? Every, everything. The vibration of the airplane, the, uh, the, all the noise is rattling off this very, very dense fiberglass. It's like sitting in the middle of a drum. I knew it was going to be noisy, but I didn't think, it, uh, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. So i got to have another headset. You want me to take the walk for you? Where is it? Yeah, I'll go get it. Okay. All right, and the battery is now charged up. Well, the battery is charged from... 15 minutes or 18 minutes, however long that flight was, it was pretty short. Yeah, but it was charging at a yeah, yeah, good, strong yeah, rate. Yeah, yeah. So, I, other than starting a hot engine, this now we'll see how it starts. Yeah, yeah. So, the whole thing before is you got to leave the pump on low yeah. to start it. And okay. That's what I always did. And we, we went through the checklist and modified it a, a couple of times, and I got confused about what it is. So, we need separate we need a separate segment about what, what each of these pieces are for. You blend all that stuff together and you start reading it. Well, that does that, this does that. No, I'm just starting the engine, so I ought to have just a block for starting the engine. You know, um, the, the high boost to prime it and uh, low boost to, to start it, the mixture rich, blah, 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 all of that kind of stuff. How did the uh, throttle and prop combination work? Um, I, didn't, I didn't notice any, uh, any adverse effect. Um, I did notice when I started pulling back on the throttle, the RPMs came down. It was like a fixed pitch prop. Yep. It was like flying a fixed pitch prop. I didn't, I didn't notice any adverse effect at all of the combination propeller throttle connection. So that was what Jabe should have felt like. James well, I flew Jabe's jet. When was that? Two years ago? Three yeah, years ago? So that was a while ago. And, and I don't remember anything adverse there either. So so it, it, it just, it, it's okay, I guess. So let me get out. And the brakes feel? The brakes are okay. Uh, the, the steering the steering is uh, on initial throttle uh, application is, uh, is interesting because it's got so much power that it wants to go off the left edge of the runway. And I had a, I, I, I took it slowly to begin with, and uh, and I was uh, using using a copious brake to keep it on the runway. Well, try 